Hello, welcome to another episode of Prisoner vs. Wentworth Reviews. Actually, I haven't done an episode in a long, long time, as I've been fairly busy. But I'm going to do an episode today, more or less, about uh, the character of Terry Harrison and his wife being murdered, slash... Uh, not slash, uh, yes, slash dash. Also talking will be about the episode where... Vera says goodbye and has been given the job to be the governor at Barnhurst. Now, the only disappointing thing about the series of Prisoner is you never get to see Barnhurst with her as governor, which I would have loved to see that. That would have been very, very interesting to see, like, how strict she was knowing what Vera is like and her attitude towards inmates. Now, it's it's going to be such a different show now that Vera is gone, and it goes in prison. It goes in such a different direction once Joan Ferguson enters the series later on. For a while, they have many different new uh, department screws and characters, which they have actually throughout the series. With it being a long series, they may as well do that. And of course many more new inmates. Now I'm going to mention a few of the inmates that I don't... that I'm not looking forward to seeing again back in the series. And that is... uh, uh, Little Angel, or what she says, more or less Devil... Angela Angel. Now, she was a terrible character, and the reason I don't want to see her character is, again, is the fact that I know the awful thing that she gets a mates of hers to do to Meg Jackson. So that's why I don't want to see that again, because I'm not looking forward to witnessing Meg's, Meg's horrendous rape scene again. That's something I'm definitely not looking forward to again. I'm also not looking forward to Ruth Belinga again because of the treatment that she gets in the prison and I mean the TV and like stuff like that when she doesn't deserve it when she's clearly an evil bitch the only thing (coughs) I am looking forward to seeing with her again is the fact that Joan Ferguson beats the living shit out of her so that I am looking forward to seeing again now, back to Terry Harrison. Originally, he found out that his wife was in Wentworth a couple of episodes further back. And he's done so much stuff on the outside and got so much involved, Meg started to hate it. And started to realise he might still kind of love his ex-wife. And recently, when she was released and gone on the outside got her release, he set her up to be murdered. And she was hit with a car. And anyway, a couple, a bit later down the track with that storyline, Meg was held at gunpoint at a house and he didn't really do much. But more or less towards the, the end of his character now, he revealed, not Meg, Vera, he revealed to Vera, his lover, that he murdered that he did get his ex-wife murdered and she started to realise he was corrupt and he's quite a loony up there. So she tried to run away and towards the end of his last ever episode he was gunned down and shot after he was chasing after her to see her. Now skipping right ahead to towards the end of Vera's last ever episode basically she doesn't attend her own farewell party. She basically walks out and the staff goes, oh, where's Vera? And they're wondering sort of what's going on. How come she hasn't come? And they think she might be turning up. They just didn't realise she walked out the front gate. And that's basically the last time you ever see Vera. And that's when the end credits go. So I am looking forward to seeing the next few episodes without Vera, a.k.a. 
vinegar tits, that's going to be very good. Now, the sad thing about the episode a while back was that Lizzie's lover to be husband, uh, Sid Humphreys, died. And that was a very, very emotional episode. Even my mum got a bit teary there with that episode. There we go. That's all I've got to say about Prisoner versus Wentworthing. Prisoner versus Wentworth, episode eight, or is it episode seven? I think it's episode seven. Actually, sorry about that. Until next time, I'll see you again with more Prisoner versus Wentworth reviews, and soon I'll be doing another review about the movie La La Land. Most recently, Live by Night, and maybe a few extras on a different reviews that I do. Until then, bye bye and see you again soon.